wasn't me. It was me, Sammy. I broke my piggy bank. It's time to buy a new smartphone. Mine isn't functioning anymore. Shoo, when did you manage to save so much money? I was saving change from shopping, but now I need to count all this. Can you help me? Oh, sure. It's a very pleasant task. a special counting machine like they have in the banks. Uh, Sam, where are you going? What's your guess? Sam, you're a genius! Ah. Hi, guys! All the greatest human inventions began from a simple wheel. An arm machine is not an exception. And who invented the wheel, Sue? Oh, well, it was invented thousands of years ago. Thousands of years?! Guys, do you know why ancient people needed the wheel? Write in the comments what you think about it. Sam, can you help me make two more wheels like this? Sure, Sue. I am a cardboard master after all. <laughs> Better say a cardboard gluing master. Exactly. Next, we'll need puddles like this. They're made of two layers of regular cardboard and one layer of cover cardboard. Sam, how's it going with the wheels? All good, but I can't understand why you need three of them. Uh, to catch! These are future digital screens for units, tens, and hundreds. And these are gears. I read that there are some plant hoppers that have gears on their legs. Is this true, Sue? Yes, Sammy, it is. With such leg mechanisms, the nips of these plant hoppers can jump very fast and at long distances. Shoo! Shoo! Did I do good? Oh, you glued it so nicely! Hole to hole! You forgot to cut the gear for the third wheel, Susie! Here, we will need these small wooden pieces, Sammy. The parts should be placed strictly between the numbers. I thought that if we have gears, then there should be a switch. Sam, you're thinking like an engineer mechanic. These are some great parts from Cover Cardboard. I will glue it, I will. Tap, 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 tap. I wish I could glue a new smartphone for you like this. Or... No, 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 no. We won't make any smartphones from cardboard. I'll just buy a new one. The high resolution camera, and tons of gigabytes of memory. Two. I was thinking that technology is developing so fast. True, Sammy. And what are you worried about? What if the machines take over? What if we serve them and not the other way? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. At least not in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Today it's Roomba and tomorrow the owner of our house. Look, Sammy, do you really think that such a cute mechanism can do any harm? I'm not sure, Susie. I'll watch it. Sue is preparing the other parts for our craft, and I will make a surprise for her. Ugh. I'll glue the future body for our machine. I'm pretty sure that this is the best industrial design. Whoa, when did you manage to make such an awesome body? It didn't take me long. And uh, what's that? New parts, of course. But there is one special feature. These wooden sticks. They will become the axis for our small wheels. Here's more cover cardboard, and just a tiny little bit of a regular one. Cover cardboard is very durable, so our parts will serve longer. Sam disappeared again! Ugh. Huh. I better go drink some hot chocolate. Lunch time! By the way, first MDF material, similar to the one we use in our craft, was invented because of lunch. Maybe I'll invent something too. The inventor left for lunch and turned off the wood shaving steam press. But it was broken, so the steam continued to flow. 
That's how a very solid material was created. Now you see, Celia can't skip lunch. <laughs> right, Sammy. Check out the result. And if I hadn't left, you wouldn't have done so great. Guys, what do you like to eat for lunch? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the news of our channel. We'll assemble it all together. It's important to go nice and slow here. I'm totally puzzled. What are you actually doing? This part doesn't look very friendly. <laughs> this is a very useful part. With its help, we can reset the numbers on the coin counter. I still don't get it. Sammy, don't rush. You'll see in a moment. This looks like the Decepticon with scary tentacles! Our machine will have makings of artificial intelligence. It will count coins on its own and show the numbers on the display. Jeez, you say artificial intelligence? It means it'll think? And this means we're in danger? Sammy, you're an alarmist. Better pass me that hook. If I were you, I'd be careful with any declarations. Here you go. <laughs> Sammy, don't run away. I also need rubber bands. Uh, I didn't know how many I need, so I took all of them. <laughs> As always, I needed just one. We secure it like this. And the last part is this one. It consists of covered cardboard and one hair clip that I don't need. We'll glue it here. Sue, our super machine needs a test drive. What if you mix something up? Hmm, okay, let's try. One, two, three, uh -huh. da, 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 ten. Okay. And uh, now let's reset. <laughs> oh, now we can count tons of coins. <laughs> and now we will assemble the heart of our coin counter. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. Sammy, I need a battery. Huh, battery? I saw it somewhere. I'll go look for it. In the meantime, we'll connect the wires like this. Terminals, and the switch to the motor, and the battery. The circuit is complete. Shoo! Shoo! Mission impossible! I can't find the battery! I believe in you. Look in the closet. Guys, be very careful with the soldering tool, or ask an adult to help you. Oh, what's all this? Shoo, this is all I found. Sammy, you know that's not what I need. Please search some more. Guys, let's support Sam. Give him a thumbs up. Just a little bit left. This motor will bring the coin counting mechanism to life. Oh, Sam, super timing. Look what I've got. Let's test our mechanism. Wow, so this is real magic. No magic, my friend. Just science and technology. We have the two best parts of the craft ahead. Assembling and decoration. Sue, are we decorating something? <laughs> no, Sam, it's too early. I knew that was gonna work. I hoped that you'd help me cut out several parts from cardboard. So then, you are so cunning, but I know that you can't do without me. Sure thing, Sammy. And meanwhile, I'll attach the motor to its designated place. A couple more parts. And look, the coin will drop here. The motor rotates this wooden part. One side of it turns the counter and the other pushes the coin out. Boom! Oh, perfect timing. Oh, your intelligence is creating artificial intelligence. Isn't that ironic, Sue? Can't argue there. Oh, you glued it so fast. Are you sure you're not a robot? <laughs> no, Sammy. Check out what we have here. Hooray! Finally decorating. This is my shining moment. Decorate to smack it, guys! Oh, Sammy, shall we count how much money I saved? Now we definitely won't lose the count. My turn! Guys, 
Did you like our high cardboard technology? Give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button. Bye-bye. And don't trust robots. question for you. Yeah, Sammy, tell me. Why you make crafts that take my money away? Oh, uh, what do you mean, Sammy? Well, once my money was shamelessly eaten by the Hulk. Oh, yeah, I remember that coin bank, green and roaring. Another <laughs> time my money was devoured by an unknown creature. <laughs> Your money's delicious, Sammy. <laughs> right? Is that why you also fed him to a scary monster? Yeah, but do you remember how well it protected your coins? And I also had to give my coins to a Lego piggy. Why do people trust their money to pigs? Ho, ho, and do you remember that box where money disappeared for good? <laughs> it was magic. For once, let's make something that will give money. That's all you had to say. Aha, uh -huh. great. We can make a cardboard ATM machine. Giving money out is all it does. Oh, that's more like it. Hi, guys. Sam is so fed up with us for giving his money away that now he wants to get it just by pushing a button. We'll start with something easy. Whoosh. Be careful with hot glue, guys. Now we glue a part of the ATM body. Up. Our ATM will be a small one, but with a very interesting mechanism. Why? Let's make a big one so we can get lots of money. <laughs> the amount of money inside does not depend on the ATM size, Sammy. On what, then? Well, it depends on how much money you have on your bank account. And you use a card to get it. Spoiler! You need the actual card. Huh. Okay. Do you need help? Of course, Sammy. Here. Make a cylinder like this. Easy peasy. And how does money appear on the account? Generally, people earn it. Oh, I can help you earn money! Guys, give a thumbs up for my helper. And we wrap this part carefully. This looks like an ice cream bar. <laughs> I guess I'm a little hungry. By the way, our cylinder is made of regular thick paper. And if you press the small cute bell down there, you'll be the first one to see a new video. <laughs> Sam! Already here! Ta-da! This is the main part. Almost. Cylinders will help the bills appear from the ATM. So, we need to work on them some more. See? Holy cannoli! Be very careful with these parts! Aye, aye, Sammy. This is quite a complicated craft, but we are not afraid of challenges. I am afraid. A little. <laughs> I'm with you, Sammy. That's why you don't have to be afraid. We'll use these two parts to secure the mechanism. Oh, hey, Sam. While I'm gluing, guess which country was the first one to use paper money? Ah, uh, Chibi Dabo. The citizens of this country are very smart and creative. <laughs> it could have been Chibi Dabo. There's no information about them. But as the official chronicles say, the first paper money appeared in China. I'm sure the Chibi Dabians were the first. <laughs> to make sure this ATM can give out money as if by magic, we'll use our favorite motor. Whoosh, and you're rich like Scrooge McDuck. Oh, yes, but don't forget that we need a card to get the money. <laughs> Susie, does it have to be plastic? Oh, hmm. Well, since we're making a cardboard ATM... Then the card should be made of cardboard, too. I'm on it. <laughs> Great, Sammy. And I will proceed with the mechanism. We take two sheets of paper. Each of them has a sticky part. We stick them together and get a long tape. And now we'll glue the tape to the cylinders. First goes one end. And then we glue the second end. How will my money appear on my cardboard card account? I'll just make a bank transfer. Oh, modern technology. Sammy decided that he needs to earn some money. I wonder how he wants to spend it. 
two, I figured out that I can work as an electrician and assemble the mechanism. How much will I get? Well, I guess that it'll be enough to buy some sweets. <laughs> Awesome! I'll go get wire circuits and microchips. Oh, uh, there are no microchips, Sammy. Just some wires and a battery. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, serious mission, serious, Sam. As always. <laughs> uh, this is the slot for the money-giving part of our ATM. I wonder what kind of card Sam made. He's in no hurry to show it to me. Imagine this, guys. In the Guinness Book of World Records, there's a man who got 1,397 credit cards in different banks. I wonder if he uses all of them. Hmm. Sue, I invented a very cool layout of wire connections. Oh, uh, uh, Sammy, wires are not toys. That could be dangerous. <sighs> you, you can't play like that with electricity. <sighs> guys. Keep that in mind, too. My idea failed. I got tangled in the wires. Ugh. So electricity is complicated and the wires are too long. I think that you better deal with them much better. <laughs> uh, yeah. With these wires on your head, you look like a very cute monster. A very colorful one. <laughs> Let's deal with them one by one. It's always easier when you move a little slower. I suggest we glue everything and then connect them. Okay, fine. I'll connect them. As I understand, the gluing is on me. Yes, I believe that you will manage the glue gun much better than me. What's this? What's this box for? Oh, it's not a box. We'll insert the card here. Oh, by the way, have you made it? So, if you rush me, we'll most certainly fail. <laughs> okay, I won't. Pass me that LED light, please. Oh, I know why we need it! If someone wants to rob the ATM, it will turn on and signal the police! Oh, no, Sammy! It's to understand whether or not the ATM is on. Oh, I thought so. Here you go. Thanks. But the alarm idea is good. This is the main control panel. Sounds like you're building a spaceship. Since it's a spaceship, here's our launch button! Yay! We put the button back in place to glue the next part. Space ATM. I wonder what kind of money aliens use. And uh, what do they call it? Cosmo dollars? <laughs> Ooh, or galactic euro. <laughs> do you think they have money? Huh, I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, how do they buy sweets, clothes, spaceships? Huh, could be. You know, Sammy, I've never wondered if there's money on other planets. Maybe they just look differently. Definitely. On the planet made of sweets, everyone pays with donuts. And don't forget to subscribe. Aliens will be happy. And so will we. <laughs> All right, Sammy. Shoo, shoo, my turn! I'll connect the wires. Oh, please. Connect and secure. Bingo! You definitely earned money for sweets. When we insert the card, the impulse moves to the lamp via wires and then to the motor. And the motor is started by pressing the button. Sam is cutting out and painting the rest of the body parts, and I will load the money into the ATM. He is so inspired by the idea of earning money. <laughs> I won't tell him about taxes for now. <laughs> now the money will go inside. Done, but keep quiet. It will be a secret from Sam that the money is already there. He'll be surprised and very happy. Sue, so this is my gold card of all the banks in the world. Keep it safe. Whoa, got it. <laughs> this card is really awesome. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree. Let's test it now. We insert the card, push the button, and money comes out here. All done, cut and decorated. How much did I earn? 
Awesome! It'll be enough for two candy servings and an ice cream. <laughs> oh, I need more! What else can I do? Well, I'll finish with the body parts and you can glue the rest. Holy cannoli, this is so exciting! To work and get money for it! Bring it on! And you guys, press the thumbs up button. Careful, easy. Guys, the glue gun is very hot, so be careful with this tool. Or ask an adult to help. A couple more cardboard pieces and our ATM is ready. Oh, I think it looks great. Sammy, shall we check how much money you earned? Where's your card? Here! I can buy all the sweets in the world! Yes, and maybe a spaceship. Shall we try to withdraw money? I am so looking forward to it! My first payday for a dream job! The light is on. It means our ATM is ready to roll. Sammy, enter your pin code. You know that it's not allowed to tell anybody. Done! Give me my money, wonder machine! <laughs> we press enter and voila! Here you go! Yay! Ha, I want more! <laughs> Easy peasy! Here we go! Up! I'll go get candies. Yep, this craft is defo the most useful one. <laughs> bye bye guys. Press the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss new videos. Bye bye. So when will we start crafting? Oh, later, Sam. I'm busy. But when? Later, Sam. Now. When I'm done reading. You mean now? Well, what about now? Can we, can we start soon? You're more annoying than Donkey from Shrek. I tell. Wait, 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 wait. That's why. Actually, I know what we're gonna craft, and you'll like it for sure. Really? Really, 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 really? And what? Why, 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 why? You'll like it very. Hi, guys. I prepared a surprise for Sam. Huh, what? What kind of surprise? You'll see. Bring me the cutter. A moment. Today, we'll make a funny toilet coin bank with a well known character. Here we are. Huh, green, green, what will it be? Patience, my friend. We cut along the lines carefully. And we cut off this part. There we go. We'll need it later. And now we fold this according to the outline. It's fast and easy. Sam, it's time for your stash. What stash? Bring your pirate treasure. Oh wow, are we gonna hide it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> On my way! And we proceed. This will be the hole for coins. We glue the parts like this. So in the end, we get a small box. We need to glue another part inside of the box. How's it going? Don't do everything without me! I'm waiting! We do the same with the second part. We're making the holes. Guys, be very careful with the awl. Next comes the piece we made from a popsicle stick. We should insert the wooden skewer like this and glue it thoroughly. Here is my treasure! Awesome! We'll need it soon. And I have this piece here. We need to glue a straw piece onto it. Lovely color, right? I can only see a car at the moment, am I right? We'll add more pieces to it. And make more holes. See? Then we add this part here. Another skewer. Any new ideas, Sam? Cutting off the excess. Carefully now. We glue the lid and… Insert my coin? Right. We twist it like this. Pop. Pop. Whoa, magic tricks! I love them! Then here! This reminds me of someone. 
Look closely. I am, I am. And? And nothing. Sam, I'm surprised. It's Shrek. Shrek? Now that's what you were up to? <laughs> yep. Ta-da! And here is our ogre, my friend. Exactly. But he has a secret look. <laughs> Wait! Does he eat my coins? Why is he eating my coins? Why, 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 why? <gasps> Sam, calm down. Let's apply some glue and attach them to each other. Just make sure you place them carefully. No, answer me, why? Now we're making the legs for our ogre. Why? Soon he will be, um, can you guess what? He will be... Walking, running, jumping. There you go. The legs are ready. We attach them to the ogre's body. One by one. And the arms as well. And now we will transform our ogre into real Shrek. Sammy, don't you see that it's going to be a really fun craft? We just need to add more pieces to it. It's time for our ogre to stand up. Let's prepare a stand for him. There you go. Awesome. And he'll keep eating my coins? Huh? 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 Nope, it'll be much more interesting. Eat them and turn into Fiona? Who knows? Hmm, who knows? Oh, let it be her! Let it be her! I like her so much! <laughs> Sammy, I didn't know you were her fan. Hop. Da-da-da-da! Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> What's that? Morning workout? Uh, Sam, you could say that. <laughs> we need a couple more small pieces. Mm -hmm. And the base for them. And this piece is a long one. I need to secure it well. I can't wait to see you, beautiful Fiona. Almost there. Last preparations before we see the finished craft. It's always so much fun when Sam gets overexcited about things. <laughs> Ugh. Here's the end piece. Small, but important. I'll fix it with glue. Great. Then I'll add the lever. And remove the excess. Ask an adult to help. So, can we check out the results? Can we? Can we? Can we? Uh, sure, but a bit later. Let's continue. We work with this part now. Awesome. Shrek and no Fiona. But it's so much fun! Sammy, look what I've made! A lovely little door. And it'll have an interesting mechanism inside. It starts with four wooden squares. Take the magnet. You'll need it. Oh, good job, Sam. <laughs> now you don't sound much like Donkey, you're just grumpy. Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Look, we can now glue two parts of our mechanism together. We fold the wall like this. And add another wall to our box. Here comes another small wooden piece. We sure have lots of them. Here comes the rubber band to make sure the mechanism works. Let's test it. Great! Now we can close our box. Huh, I think our craft needs forest-style decor, right? Right. It'll just take a moment. A bibbity, a bobbity, boo! All done. Ooh, I still think something's missing. Hmm, let's fix it. Lots of greens. Add a little here. da 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 ba da da ba da Oh, I love this process so much. Do you guys? I already understood that there would be no Fiona, so I brought the last part. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. 
great job, but we need to decorate it a little. So did you doubt my decoration skills? Oh, no way. These wooden planks you made look very realistic. <gasps> They're even chipped on the top. Wow. Sammy is an amazing decorator. Like if you agree, guys. Here comes another one. <gasps> it's coming out great, Sammy. I've never seen anything prettier than this toilet. <laughs> You're so naughty. Didn't you work hard on all this decor? Just a little more to go. Okay. I can't wait to see what comes next. Oh, what's what you doing? <laughs> I'm going to glue our Shrek inside the toilet. <laughs> so he sits tight. And this is for the roof, right? Yes. I'm on it. Let's talk more action. Focus, focus. Uh, ah! <sighs> awesome, Sammy. But that's not all. I also have these round sticks to add more volume. How is he gonna come out? It's all under control, Sammy, don't worry. Here's a door handle made of string. It works! Let's add more decor. For Shrek is ready. No donkeys allowed. Hey, cut it out. I won't do it again. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Let's test it. I'm always ready. A coin, my lady. Please. That's one way to get fit fast. <laughs> and the stomach always works well. Take out our treasures. I considered everything, Sammy. Here's a toilet card with a magnet. Your treasures are protected by the toilet card. Here they are. Awesome! Close it quick. No problem, Sammy. Watch. Guys, if you like this craft, give a thumbs up. And subscribe to our next channel. See ya in the next toy oh video. <laughs> Bye. 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 I think I have some coins to save. Da -dum, ba -da -da -ba -da. One cent coins go here, and quarters go here. Oh, like that. Oh, coins! I'll go get mine. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Wow, it's already full. Time to count the coins. All right. Um, wait. Why are they all mixed? Ugh. <laughs> I guess I know who's to blame. Sam? Yes? <sighs> Sam, why do you think there are these labels here? Huh. I know it's the number of days before we can spend the coins. No. It's the coin value. Once you sort them, it's easier to count them later. Oopsie. Well, I know what we have to do. We need to make a coin sorting machine. Great idea, Sammy. Yay! We're gonna have our own bank. Hi, guys. Sue, where are you? Sue! Sue! I'm here, and I'm ready to work. I prepared everything we need for the craft. Awesome. So let's get started. Let's put these parts aside. We'll need them later. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to say hi. Hello, dear viewers. First of all, let me remind you to be careful while working with hot glue. By the way, I don't really know if Sam told you what we're making. <laughs> I'll tell you the secret. It's not a secret. I'm gonna tell myself. This will be a machine for space missions. Requesting permission to land. We'll cruise across the universe far away from our planet and find a system where only slimes live. Uh, uh, Sam, are you sure about that? What do you mean? 
We're making a coin sorting machine. I'm gluing the walls for it now. Yeah? Oh, I confused it with my secret craft. What secret craft? Huh? Come on, Sammy. Spit it out. Uh, I wanted to make a rocket. Well, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, behold! We're making a brand new sorting machine for... coins! <laughs> Bravo, Sammy! Great performance! You yeah, think so? Sure! By the way, this is how our coins will be sorted. Each coin will fall into the slot of the right size. There! See? By the way, how are you controlling those coins? It's magic! Oh, all right, fine. Let it be magic. You were also talking about a rocket. Have you prepared something for it? Of course. Stay here. I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm not going anywhere. We're actually making a craft here. And I am curious to see what Sam can make. Oh, no, I want a rocket too. But I'll try to limit myself to this machine. Plus, we're moving to a very interesting part. The motor. So let's connect the motor wires to the dimmer. It will help control the speed of the motor. Now let's attach the contact block for the battery. There we go. Connect the motor to the battery to make it work. Be very careful with wires, guys. Ask an adult to help you. Sam, how much longer? Almost there. Okay, okay, I'm waiting. Soon we'll launch the rocket! Oh, Sam! Is everything okay? Oh no! The test run failed! I guess it's lack of funding. Finish the coin machine too so I can buy new materials! <sighs> Naughty slime. I'm going back to work. Uh, you can keep this. I made this plate out of Sam's rocket piece that he kindly gave to me. The notches should be as large as the biggest coin you've got. Now we need to attach the plate to the motor axle. Glue it really well and secure it with another cardboard piece. There. Sam ran away so quickly that I didn't have time to ask anything. I wonder what happened to his rocket. Give a thumbs up if you want to find out too. But I think neither Sam nor his morale were hurt. Actually, I think he's trying to fool me. Anyway, let's glue the front part of our machine. Huh, what went wrong? Maybe the engine power wasn't strong enough? Ugh, I'm gonna check on Sue. I'm here to get away from my calculations. Do you need help? You can cut transparent plastic into pieces. What plastic? Challenge accepted, Susan. All right, plastic. It can reduce the rocket weight. Thanks, Sue. Uh, you're welcome? <laughs> I need to think if I said something wrong. Even if Sam says thinking can cause a headache, he's an expert in this, so I'll follow his advice. Now set the controller and apply some glue here. Be very careful. It's hot. Sue, I noticed one flaw in your design. Yeah? What is it? How will you take the battery out when it dies? Oh, through this hatch. What? How? When did you make it? Magic, Sammy. Magic. <laughs> okay, you got me. I'm gonna go finish my rocket. Guys, subscribe to our channel if you love craft magic. Now we're going to make shoots for the coins. Let's get started. We need to use the right measurement for each shoot. Glue the sidewalls, making sure a coin can pass between them. We'll have four types of coins. That means we need four different shoots. Two, I was passing by and saw some pieces. I decided to glue them. Oh, thank you. Do they have different sizes? Sure. One for each coin type. Cool. And uh, what about plastic? Oh, I forgot. I'm off. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. Sammy what? I've got this thing on my mind now. Oh? What kind of thing? Why do I make the helmet from? How do I breathe in open space? Oh, got it. Be right back. Sue, it's Big Sam. How do you like the helmet? Is it plastic? <laughs> you look cool, Sammy. You bet. The best designer worked on that helmet. 
I think the designer is Sam himself. Give a thumbs up if you agree with me. Oh, do you want to make more helmets? Yeah, for my fingers. <laughs> well, fingers need protection too. Oh, Sam, stop making me laugh. These will be the containers for the coins. Ah, so let me help you. I can glue the rest. It'll be great. By the way, how's it going with the rocket? Almost done. You'll see. Oh, I can't wait. I hope this time it'll be safer. Sure. This time everything's gonna be fine. By the way, here's your help containers for the coins. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Sammy. So, don't you think this machine's a bit gray? Yes, I do. That's why I'm going to decorate it. Here goes the roof. Something like a chimney. Stickers to mark the coin value. Also, let's add some color to the central piece. Sam, I'm finished with the sorting machine, but I still haven't seen your rocket. I need a few minutes more. It's gonna be ready soon. isn't real and so can the viewers. Of course, it's a prototype. I decided not to risk anymore. I promise it would be safe, remember? <sighs> yeah, can't argue with that. I think we need to invest more coins into rocket development. You can just give me uh, these two stacks. Okay, okay. But I wanted to spend them on sweets. Sweets? Uh, the rocket can wait, but the sweets cannot. Come on, let's go buy some Cosmically yummy! <laughs> Someone's changed his tune. I brought more coins from my stash, too. But Sam, that's our shared jar. We both put coins in it. You only put quarters and I put different coins. <sighs> yeah, but only just a few. Fine, just don't get distracted. Check out how many we've got. Time to count the coins. All right, but first we need to say bye to the viewers. Yes. Bye-bye, guys. Subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up. And share this video with your friends. See ya. Sue, I need your help. What's up, Sam? Well, I need to stash something for two weeks in a cool, dark place. And what is it? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. I don't see a problem. Just hide it and don't tell me where. No, no. I need to hide it from myself, too. Or I might not wait and take it out before it's time. Okay. I have no idea what's happening, but I'll help you. Hey, guys. For today's craft, I'll need lots of cardboard. What are we making? We'll make a safe, Sam. A safe? Phew. We already made a safe and a crypt text. I know how they work. I'll just crack the code and open it. Do you remember the videos with the safe and the crypt text? Give a thumbs up if you do. It's not just any safe. It has three levels of protection. I'll have the code, and you'll have the key. And we'll start with the combination lock. We'll need four cardboard circles with two centimeters in the diameter. One's done, and here's three more. I'll make one circle out of two so it's easier to spin it. Careful here. We'll be rotating it when entering the code. Let's wrap the edge of the circle carefully so it's more convenient and pretty. Zero, one, two, three. It's just ten digits. What if I guess the code? I really don't think so. We will make five combination locks. Now turn away. I need to think of a good code combination. Hmm, 
I wonder what it is she will think of. My birthday or hers! This part is a bit bigger in diameter. It'll keep the door closed if the wrong digit is set. What code to set? Huh. I know. This funny part will be the front of the safe, and that's where the locks will be. Let's make some holes for them. And here, the top combination locks will go. Let's set two digits. And I will attach these parts to the other side. I want it to work really well. Right, guys? <laughs> and here, very neatly, glue the parts together. <laughs> Can I turn back already? Just a little longer. I'll make three more locks out of circles that are three centimeters in radius. These locks will work differently. That's why we draw the digits like this on a different side. And to open the safe, you'll need to know three more digits. Not that simple. Now I have to connect these four parts together before attaching them to the safe. Oh, how interesting! I will definitely try to crack your code! <laughs> you can try! A three-digit lock can have 1,000 combinations! We'll attach these three locks to the same front wall. Only a little bit left. Hmm, what code should I set here? Uh huh? Uh, yes! <laughs> and now let's secure these parts that are two centimeters in radius. Now the lock will only open with the right code. The bolt will be moving on these sticks. And it'll be located here. I'll glue it to the front, right above the revolving parts. And add another support stick for the bolt so it doesn't fall down. These little parts will let us open and close the lock with the correct code. We'll set them right here on the bolt. Oh, I'm too impatient to just stand here and wait. I'll go check on my surprise! This part will prevent the bolt from leaving the safe area. The rubber band will let it get back into place. Now, the key will only move the bolt if the code is entered correctly. You can look now, Sam. Uh, Sam? Sam! Where did you go? One sec, let me just check something. But we're getting to the most interesting part. Uh, oh, I'll be right back. Sam's acting really weird. Guys, what do you think he's up to? Write your guess in the comments. I'm back, everything is fine. Great, now Sammy, we'll make the key that you will hold on to. My precious, give it to me, or you'll be able to open my safe. Wait, we'll need it for later to check if everything works. So much waiting. I bet you can't wait to see our save either, guys. Give a thumbs up if I'm right. Be patient, Sammy. These parts will be able to keep the key in the keyhole. Like this. Now I'll need the key to check if our system is working. <gasps> awesome! It works great! Look, Sammy! Yay! I can finally get my key back! Not yet. I'll need it for another lock. Another lock? Yep. We have five combination locks, and we also need to hide them behind the key locks. Let's make this part. I'll let the key grant access to the top two combination locks. I need a rubber band, and attaching it here. And one more part for the support. Gotta be careful. And glue it right here. And pull the rubber band to the side, like this. Now everything starts with your key. I just need to finish the front of the safe and build the body. And you bring whatever you need to hide. Awesome! Finally! I'll go get it, but don't you peep. Let's add some decorations to our safe. I said decorations! Sam! Huh. Usually he runs when he hears this word. Oh well. Do, 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 do. It's time to put the safe together. This part will be the bottom. I'll attach the door with the locks right here in the middle. Just a drop of glue. These hooks won't let you open three bottom locks unless the code is entered on the top. And one more. 
The last three locks will be hidden behind this door. And this is how it works. This is the side wall. Let me glue it to the bottom. And it has two doors. This door is opened by the key, and there are two combination locks behind it. And the keyhole for Sam's key is behind the second door. Here I am! Is everything ready? One minute, Sammy. I need to attach the most important part where you'll be storing your items and also the walls. This door can only be opened if you know the combination and have the key. I have the key and it's so pretty! Psst, guys, did you see Sue's code? Write me in the comments! <gasps> Sam! Sorry, I can't wait to get my surprise inside! I'll set up the bottom and the wall. Here you'll be keeping your things. Cool. I think it'll be dark enough. Enough for what? Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> and the back is ready. And let's get the top in place. Done. Our safe is ready. Wow. So wonderful. So cool. And secure. Should we open it to hide your surprise? Let's turn it. Now turn away, I'll enter the code. Oh my, turning again! What was the code? Aha! Mm -hmm. Done. So awesome! Ah, it won't open! <laughs> of course! Uh, wait, that's not it. Uh, turn away! We have three more locks. Here, now I need your key, Sammy. Finally! Thank you! Let's see here, and turn. And now you can put whatever you want in here. Now you turn away. Fine. <laughs> now we close it. Okay, Sammy. Now I just need to do the same, but in reverse order. It's so cool, guys. I feel like I'm walking away something very valuable. And I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> Guys, what would you store in a safe? Write a comment below. It's been two weeks. We can open the safe now and see what happens. Sam, what's that? Take it out and see! Uh, are these raisins? Yes! Two weeks ago, I put away grapes. And now they've become yummy sweet raisins! Um, so yummy. I was afraid I'd eat it before it was ready. <laughs> That's why the say. Hmm, it really is delicious. So, did you like the safe, Sammy? Very much so. And so many different locks. You'll never open it without the code and the key. Did you guys like the safe? Write in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel to see our new crafts. Bye-bye. Mmm, so tasty. Bye-bye, guys. Don't forget a thumbs up. I guess Sam came up with a new prank? Ding, 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 ding. One more go. Sam! Ah, Sam, you scared me! What is all this? Why are there coins in the toilet? No worries, Sue. It's just a new game I invented. Coin ball! 
What? Coin ball? Jeff, watch me! Oh, Sam, cut it out! Flushing coins in the toilet is a bad idea. How can I play coin ball, then? <laughs> Come, Sam. I have a better option where we won't lose so much money. Oh. Okay. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to make the game Plinko. Hey! You came up with something new, but nothing can be my coin ball. <laughs> we'll find out soon, Sammy. Okay. First, we need to construct the tray where our coins will be stored. We'll need cardboard parts like this. 30 centimeters by 5 centimeters. And 6 by 5 centimeters. We'll connect them with glue. Huh, tray? Well, I think it's more convenient than throwing coins into the toilet, but not so much fun. Let's save our money, Sam! <laughs> now we'll split our tray into sections using small squares, 5 by 5 centimeters. We'll glue them carefully 3 centimeters apart from each other. Me too! Did you also make us tape? <laughs> Another safe, Sammy? Well, I'll think about it. <laughs> a safe is a good thing if you have a lot of money, but with Sam's lavish lifestyle… Anyway, let's focus on the Plinko game. Guys, do you know anything about the Plinko game? Tell us about it in the comments! Great! We only need to close our box. We'll need two boxes in total like this, for the red side and for the blue one. It's like unboxing. Blue corner is the best. I call dips on the blue. <laughs> okay, Sammy. In that case, why don't you glue it yourself? Oh, <laughs> I'll try. Now we'll glue the parts for the red cardboard. Close every other section. And stick a piece of colored paper right here. Check it out, Sue. Did I make everything right? Sam, how did you manage to glue everything so fast? <laughs> you, it's years of practice. <laughs> I believe you. Well, I have everything ready, too. Just a small detail left. Handle so our chests can be moved easily. Wow, you considered everything, Sue. I'll go and make one more chest. I'll store my ties there. <laughs> Great idea, Sam. Well, I guess our chests are ready. Awesome. Guys, do you want more cool crafts? And subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to stay tuned. Now it's time to assemble the main part of our future game. For this, we'll need a cardboard piece like this with side 6, 27, 3, and 30 centimeters. We'll cut it out carefully using the cutter. Guys, be careful! The cutter is super sharp. Ask an adult to help you. Great! Now we'll need to make small holes all around the surface. By the way, Sam, while I'm cutting the openings, could you help me take these wooden sticks and cut them into equal parts one centimeter long? Sure, Sue. I was thinking that you decided to do without my help. Nope, I need you always. Now we proceed. Yeah! <laughs> Looks like Sam got carried away and I'm actually done. There you go, Sue! Awesome. Thanks, Sammy. Now we insert the sticks into the holes. Like this. Looks great. Wow, wow, wow. Now it looks more like a porcupine than a coin ball. <laughs> you have a very vivid imagination. <laughs> so everything is ready. Let's add more beauty. Hey, Sue, I thought beauty is my thing. Okay, Sam. Let me glue red squares and you'll take care of the blue ones. Okay. Great! Now we'll make sure our coins won't fly around the house. But it's the best part. Sam, it's not. It's just a mess. La la la. Guys, what do you think? Throwing coins around? Is it fun or a mess? Comment below. Yeah, yeah. Don't listen to him, guys. Sam puts fun above everything else, even when other things are more important. Well, I glued these strips one centimeter wide so our coins won't be flying out of the game board. Let's also add these stripes three centimeters wide so the coins drop into different sections of our chests. Oh, Sue, I'm pretty sure that all the coins will get into the blue chest. I mean mine! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that, Sammy. How cool! Just one final touch left. We'll cover our game with a plastic sheet to keep all the coins inside. Hey, carefully now, Sue. Here, take it! Thank you, Sam. So let's apply the glue and attach it. Ta-da! Okay, we're ready to move to the final stage. Uh, I thought 
everything was ready. <laughs> Patience, Sammy. So we only need to put all the parts together. For this, we'll need pieces like this. They'll make the base for our Polinko. When you're done gluing the base, call me. I'll test how solid it is. Okay, Sam. We'll take this piece and... glue another part on top of it. Sue, so, do you remember by any chance where I put my piggy bank? I want to bring more coins for our battle. Look in the toilet, Sam. <laughs> Ugh, you are so mean, Sue. Guys, give a thumbs up if you don't want Sue to be so mean to me. <laughs> that will take a lot of thumbs up. Okay, let's glue two more pieces on the side. One. And two. Attention, everyone! Coin ball to the right, plink go to the left. Hurry up and take your chance to play the best coin game! Sam, give me that! Hi! You took everything from me again! <laughs> Sam, these aren't direction signs. These are part of the base for the game. We'll attach them here. Wow, interesting. If it's that interesting, then don't go away. Watch me. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm talking to cardboard. <laughs> Whatever. We'll attach the second part and voila. And here comes the last one. Drum roll. Awesome! Now we need to assemble all the parts of the game. The chests go here. Sue, here comes the air support. Ooh, awesome, Sam. We'll put it here. The final touch. Done and done. Check out this perfection. Get ready for the battle, Snoopy! Dear friends, now we will finally find out what is better, Plinko or the Splendid Coin Ball! I'm sure you'll love this game, Sammy. So, are you ready? Sure! Then, here we go! Yay! The first goal is mine! My turn! Uh, uh, Wait, I'm going to catch up on you. Yeah! Uh, I guess you're right, too. It's so much fun! Of course! Guys, do you like the game? Comment below. Here comes another one. Let's have a look at the results. So, what do we have here? I'm very curious. I'm pretty sure that... <gasps> Whoa! Look, guess I won! <laughs> Unbelievable! Get ready for the second round! <laughs> Let's get to it! Guys, do you want more awesome games? Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you won't miss new videos. See you soon! What's the matter? Sue, I don't know where to keep my lottery money! Well, well. You could use my piggy bank. What do you say? Um, maybe you have a better idea? We could bring them to the bank. Great! Whoa! Wait a minute. We need to go there? Like, outside? With this pile of money? Woo! <laughs> Seems like nothing's good enough for you. Maybe we can bring the bank to our home! We can, but we can make our own mini ATM! Let's go! There we go! Hi guys! Today we're gonna make a cardboard ATM! Check out how colorful it will be! One side even has a zebra print on it! Does that mean I can protect my money using a secret code? Yep! Our ATM will have a special mechanism for coins and for bills too! Wow! It's so cool! Where do we start? You probably didn't notice, but we've already started, Sammy. Hop, see? We're using this pen and a wooden stick to make a mechanism for the money input. 
Easy, Sue. We don't want to break it. Don't worry, Sam. Now let's cut off the extra pieces of the stick. Guys, Sam prepared all these pieces. He did a great job, right? Oh, come on, Susan. But I wouldn't mind if you support me with a thumbs up, guys. <laughs> let's make a small wooden frame using these pieces. Like that. Great. Susie, this opening right here is quite small. Don't miss it. Don't worry, Sammy, I won't. Easy. Like that. And repeat the same step on the other side. Hop! Now comes the upper piece. Don't forget to glue all the pieces together. Glue is our everything. Careful. Do not rush. And here we go. The wooden frame is ready. Sue. So, the guys are wondering how exactly will this mechanism work. It's a secret for now. But they'll find that out if they watch this video through to the end. Mwah, you always have your secrets, Susan. I thought we were friends. Don't even try that thing with me, Sammy. By the way, where's the piece of a plastic book cover I asked for? Very funny, Susan. It's already here. Really? I don't see anything. Well, no wonder. It's because I hit it well. Really well. <laughs> Sam, you really like making fun of me, huh? Be careful, I can hit back. Catch me first. <laughs> oh, I missed the point. What are we doing? Oh, that's a very important part. We need to wrap a rubber band around the pan. Well, if you don't need me, I'll go eat a cookie. Sammy, I need you to bring that cardboard piece we made. But Sue, it's so far from the cookie jar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sammy, but we need to attach this mechanism to the cardboard wall. Fine, it's here. I can't let you down. Let's put this mechanism above the narrow opening. Like this. I'm working with wood a lot today. Roger would be proud. And now those four wooden sticks transform into… Two parallel pieces! And the upper sticks are closer to the center. You see? That's because they'll keep this piece in its place! Exactly! Glue a short stick that will work as a barrier. Sue, look what I have for you! You can pick your favorite color! I'm attaching the band on the sticks like this. It will bring the lock… Back to its place. We made the mechanism for the coin input. Let's think of a way to hold the coins before they get inside. No, Sue! What? Is there something on my nose? No, we can make a coin keeper in the shape of a nose! All right. Huh? Wow! It really looks like a face now! Now let's add these sides of our ATM! I see you've prepared well. Okay, let's do it. We joined the cardboard pieces together and separated the input mechanism from the wall. Sue, so, here's your cardboard circle. What are you gonna do with it? Thanks, Sammy. I'll just rip it apart. Shiver me cheddars! Was that really necessary? Yeah, this is how we're gonna make a cardboard spool. Hop! We'll join this part of the circle with a smaller one using a pen. And add some glue here. Like this. Sue, I don't see anything! Help me! <laughs> Sammy! Phew, thanks, Sue! This piece does look like a spool, huh? Sue, once again, we glue a circle to a smaller one, then add another circle, and now we'll… Uh, I'm lost! It's coming out nice, but I'm a little bit tired. You're lucky to have a great assistant like me! Check this out! Uh, oopsie! Cool, Sammy! It's a handle for a sidewall! This one is the best! We'll place the handle in here! I'll do it! Can't see anything but… Sammy, where are you going? Uh, oopsie! I kinda got lost! Sammy, concentrate! <laughs> Alrighty! Okay, I got it! Now let's place the spool on the inner side of the wall! Don't forget this piece! It's very important! <laughs> Thanks for making sure I don't forget anything. We'll place it right in the middle of the stick. Guys, add some glue to make sure that all of the pieces stay in their places perfectly. Glug, glug, glug! <laughs> Here's the last piece. It'll be easier to attach the mechanism to the wall. 
Be careful, Sue! I need a beautiful safe! This wooden piece connects all of the parts with the mechanism. Let's see how it works. And the coin input is ready! Awesome! But the bill input isn't working. Just add another elastic band! You're right, Sammy! That's why we have the plastic spool and the bill mechanism, too! Perfect! It's time to test it! I'll even allow you to use my lottery money for it! Aw, that's so nice of you! Let's start with the coin input. Okay, turn the handle! And the coin drops inside! That's how it looks, guys! Whoa, I'm rich! And I have my own ATM! What a lie! Whoops, someone's gonna mix his lottery money up with fake bills! So, let's insert this. Remember that elastic band we wrapped around the pan? It helps the bill to get inside the ATM! There! Sue, so, it works like a real ATM, but the second half of it looks kinda empty. That's gonna be a safe. I'll make a slide for bills and coins using this cardboard piece. Ew, so I don't like this! <laughs> uh, Sue, so, I don't know how to put this. It seems like I broke something. <laughs> That's alright, Sammy, nothing's broken. Soon you'll know why we need it. Guys, the ATM consists of two parts. The money input and the safe. Now we'll make a safe part with a screen and a combination lock. I'll think of the hardest secret code you can ever imagine! <laughs> Wanna see some magic? Bam! Done! <laughs> Carefully pull this piece out. Sue, so, I made the piece you asked for! Awesome! Good job, Sammy! I also made something! Check this out! Let's put it right between the two thin sticks. Done! Moving on! I'm sure that with this mechanism my money will be safe! Cool, Sue! Yeah, look how it works! Great! Sue, I give up! I don't want to make this craft anymore! I just want to sleep and eat yummies! No problem, Sammy. Then the ATM is gonna be mine. These two pieces are very important. The square one goes right here. Hop! And the other one goes on top of the stick. Sue, come on! I was just kidding! Crafting is my favorite thing to do! Let me help you! Here's the piece that will close the door. See? The lever is moving! Guys, check out the door! There'll be a combination lock! Cool, right? While Sue's busy, I'll set the door! Let's add this piece to cover the mechanism. I need to glue it. Be careful with the glue gun, guys. Ask an adult to help you. We carefully attach it right here. Wow! Sammy even made a hook! Cool! He looks really stylish! Yeah, I even made a protective screen! Good job, Sammy! Let's test it. It goes right here. And hop! Sue, take care of the decor while I'm fixing something. Okay, here are our decor elements. Shall we see what they're gonna look like on our craft? Holy cannoli, that's awesome! I couldn't do it without you, Sammy. I'm gonna get money! <laughs> All right. Wow, how long have you been saving this money? Anyway, let's test the ATM. So, let's try the coin input now! Okay, we'll put in a coin and turn the handle. Bing, bing, bing! Uh, uh, it doesn't open! <laughs> That's because
because there's a secret mechanism. Sue, I forgot the password I said! What do I do? I'll reveal the secret only to you. Here we go! Ta-da! Here's your money. Let's take it all! <laughs> ah, that's impressive! Now I'm sure my money is safe! Guys, if you tend to forget passwords just like I do, you should try this craft! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up! Bye-bye! <laughs> Done! Hmm, let's see what else I should do before leaving. Hey, Susie, what's up? I bet you're looking forward to your trip with Roger. Why do you have Cookie's leash? Hi, Sammy, I just dropped Cookie off at the dog hotel. They'll take care of her there while we're gone. What? And who'll take care of me? I think you can handle it. I built the fridge, did the laundry. But what about my treasure? Who will guard this? Actually, I've got another thing on my list. Make a craft, and I think I know what it'll be. Let's go! Hi, guys! Today we're gonna make a cardboard dog that can guard your savings. Wow, Sue! Does it mean this dog will bark or something? No, Sammy. <laughs> it will just serve as a piggy bank. Or you can call it a doggy bank. Sue, can I give the doggy a name? Sure, Sammy. It's your loyal guard. In the meantime, we'll take the templates that I've already cut out and bend across these lines. We'll do it carefully and firm, and our next step will be easy to make. Sammy, can you please help me and finish the other pieces? Easy peasy, shoe. And we'll connect all the seams and form the head. Use a hot glue gun. Be careful working with it. One can easily get burned. I just finished this, shoe. You need it now, don't ya? You're always on time. Guys, did you know that a dog's sense of smell is at least 40 times better than ours? Some of them are so good that they can even sniff out our medical problems. Even COVID-19. Isn't that amazing? Huh. So maybe we should call our little dog Sniffer. Maybe. Dogs' noses are designed that way so they can breathe freely and sniff at the same time, unlike people. <laughs> All right. Sue, I made this piece for you all thinking of a name for our dog. Here, take this! Don't worry, Sammy. You still have time to come up with a proper name. We'll apply some glue carefully. It's easy, guys. We just need to connect these parts using hot glue. And here we go. Let's turn the head around and connect these sides. Uh, what about Frank? <laughs> Let's call this dog Frank. <laughs> I think I know what inspired you. Isn't that the adorable alien pug from Men in Black? By the way, guys, we're going to glue the neck now. Here we go. Yeah, that pug wore a suit and liked to sing. I mean, how cool is that, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, Sammy. I wish our cookie could sing too. Anyway, that dog and its name are really cool. But why should you repeat when you can create? But it's a super agent's name, Sue! Okay, Sammy, I agree. It's amazing, but I'm also sure you can figure out something special. Here's the ear you asked for. Uh, speaking of a special name, maybe Milo? Isn't that the energetic, cheerful Jack Russell Terrier from the Mask movie? Wow, Sue, it seems like you've seen all the movies in the world. I'm just very attentive because I like dogs. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like them too. Did you know that the fastest breed of dog is a greyhound? They can reach a running speed of 72 kilometers per hour within just a few seconds. So what? Did you know that a cheetah can get up to almost 110 kilometers per hour? Whoa, oh, I'm gonna call my dog Cheetah! Yes, but a cheetah can keep the speed for only 30 seconds. A greyhound can for 11 kilometers. Oh, you're missing something, buddy. Up, ah, now we're talking. Looks great, huh? I think something else is missing. Oh, I know. Next step is the front legs. These two pieces look like butterfly wings. Up, ah, great. Susie, what if I try to make hind legs? I think you can do it even with your eyes closed. It's so great to make something with friends. In the end, you'll get not only a great mood, but an awesome craft, too. That's true, Sue. The process becomes easier and more fun. I love doing crafts with you. I like little tricks. What about you guys? Give a thumbs up if you do. Does it look familiar? These are the future legs of our dog. Oh, I can't wait to see the result. Huh. Sue, what are those paw prints? 
<laughs> Check out the pause I made while you were inspecting the table. Wow, it's so cool, Sue! What about your part? Did you manage to finish the legs? Did you come up with a name? I hope you didn't forget all about that. <laughs> um… Sammy… Sammy, do this! Sammy, do that! What would you do without Sammy, huh? I can't even think about it. I'm lucky to have you always by my side. Let's move to the second leg. Uh, Susie, I just finished with my part. Can you please help me? It's so big, I can't bring it myself. It'll be easier together. Of course, Sammy, in a little while. By the way, did you know that cat people and dog people are very different? But what do they have in common? All of them love their pets. Give a thumbs up if you love your pets, too. By the way, great job, Sammy! Let's connect the parts together and get the body! Susie! But how are the coins get inside? I've got that covered! See? This slit will let the coins in. I made it in advance. So then how will we get the coins out of our doggy bank? <laughs> You'll see. I just wanted to start that part. We need to make a box where the coins will fall and be stored. It's easy. We'll just glue all the pieces together to make a container. Carefully apply some glue here… And connect these two edges of the piece. By the way, guys, did you know that dogs can feel your state of mind? So if you're sad or stressed, they'll try to comfort you. Okay, now we'll close the box this way. Nutella! Uh, I mean… So let's call the dog Nutella! Now you decided to go over your favorite sweets? Aw, uh, come on, Sue! <laughs> You'll find your inspiration. Let's make a tube-like box through which our coins will fall out. And yay! But I don't want all the coins to lie down there. That's why I want to make a special partition. We'll need two frames for that. Put them right here. And what are these for? Oh, thanks! These pieces will prevent the coins from getting stuck in the corners. I don't want Sammy to be worried that his coins can get lost somewhere inside the doggy bank. And it's ready! It looks like we forgot about this piece. What do we do now? Don't worry, Sammy, it's gonna be a tail. Every dog wags its tail. Our friend is not an exception. Oh, it will also serve as a lid. Huh. It's time to assemble the doggy bank! Let's go! We need to put the cardboard container inside. Wow, Sue, you're doing great! Keep the pace! I can't wait to see the result! Our next step is our tail lid. This is delicate work, guys. Be careful. And it goes right here. <laughs> Sue, what is this thingy? Did you lose it by any chance? Yes! Thank you very much! That's our partition! Let's place it in the gap between the two containers. Now we need to secure it somehow. These rubber bands are the best solution. Be careful, Sue! Don't break anything! Here, everything's set, Sammy. Guys, it's time to put the head onto its place. Carefully, carefully… Yes! Sue, this is the back, am I right? Yes, it will hide the mechanism inside. Great. The only step left is decoration! Did you say decoration? Yep. I know you're a master at it, so I want to suggest that we work together. We need to paint our doggy bank so it will look more realistic. I'll take the muzzle, the chest, and the front legs. The rest is on you. I'm in, Sue! Let's get started! I want to paint the ears and the nose with black paint. Sammy, did you manage to choose a name in the end? Uh-huh. Hmm. Yes, I have one idea. I think you're gonna like it. Oh, I can't wait to hear the name of our little friend. Now let's paint the legs. <sighs> I'm a bit tired. I need some rest. I want to add the shades to make the fur look much more realistic. Oh, now I want to have another dog. They're so smart and cute. And they're always happy to see you and ready to join you in any adventure. 
too. It sounds like you only love dogs, but what about our hamster, spider, and cat? Oh no, Sammy, I love them all equally. Animals are absolutely amazing. Guys, do you know the book The Little Prince written by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry? There's a famous quote from it. You are responsible forever for what you have tamed. Here comes the final touches and done! Sammy, are you ready? Of course, Sue! Great! Let's take a closer look at our cutie. Sammy, are you ready to test our doggy bank? I was born ready. Then let's insert the coins. Two and three. Now let's try to take the coins out. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, by the way, Sammy, what name did you choose? Our doggy bank will be named DIY. Wow, do you like it, guys? If yes, give a thumbs up and hit the bell button not to miss our next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want us to do new crafts! Bye bye